Turner Mess is a masterpiece for a man who has taste. Does it hold up in the current year though? I'm a man and I think I have taste, so let's find that out. Made by legendary perfumer Jean-Claude Elena and released in 2006, it has captured quite a few hearts and it definitely has gotten some awards too. So without further ado, let's get testing. The immediate impression is vetiver right off the bat. I can definitely sense a deep bitterness in it, a very characteristic bitterness to vetiver but in this case it doesn't have all of the other more top heavy notes that vetiver may have you know it doesn't have this nuttiness or smokiness or anything other than this deep vetivery bitterness to me it feels like the perfumer has just distilled down the very essence of what vetiver should be and just put it in here and by this essential smell of vetiver i actually mean this deep bitterness kind of woodiness and almost dry herbaceousness i can detect a tiny bit of earthiness too in here there's a little bit of this isoe supery sweetness which it sometimes has and it blends with this bitterness quite well. I'd be quite surprised if I found out that there is any vanillin in here or ethyl maltol or any other super sweet molecule, but there is the tiniest bit of sweetness to just alleviate this bitterness. Or maybe this bitterness is just looping back and becoming kind of a sweet thing almost. And it has a bit of citruses there. Not that strong though. It has a tiny, tiny, maybe like fruity citrusy feel to it somewhere in the background and to be honest it is not a strong fragrance i think the strength right off the bat is like a 7 out of 10 max it just doesn't smell too strong to me at all in fact the first like five to ten times i was spraying this on me i didn't quite understand it because i was smelling something but i wasn't exactly understanding what it is that i'm smelling i know what vetiver is i have smelled it i have it in various forms from various places but this one particular scent in here it is so weird to me because oftentimes i just don't register it it's just it's there but it's kind of not registering in my mind almost. So initially I was feeling quite whatever about it, but I kept wearing it. And since then I can say that I quite enjoy it. And I can say that the uniqueness is, in a way it's really unique because I haven't smelled a fragrance this clinical, clean, and this precise in the way it has been made. And Jean-Claude Elena, he definitely knows how to do that. In fact, he has been spearheading, at least in popular culture, this minimalistic style, which at the time, it was quite innovative. People did like to have quite complex formulations. And this is the new way of doing things at the time. Nowadays, it seems kind of like a mix of things. A lot of brands like to do some minimalist stuff, you know, like Lulabo, for example. And there are lots of fragrances that have this complex structure, this complex formulation, which is also good. I like both, to be honest. Back to the scent in the opening 10 to 15 minutes in the vetiver, becomes more strong compared to the other notes, which are the citrusy notes, which are slightly the fruitiness. There's actually a quite an interesting feeling when I put my nose on the scent and then I take it off. And there's a moment in between those motions where the scent, it kind of changes a bit. So when I smell this directly, it has an almost oily quality there. But when I take the nose off, it becomes more herbaceous, if it makes sense. It does feel overall kind of linear, but at the same time, quite clinical, as I said, quite precise, very intentional in every detail. But the uniqueness, it smells like a lot of other fragrances, but at the same time, it smells very uniquely Terre d'Hermes. So, I'll put it at 9 out of 10, and the pleasantness, an 8 out of 10, quite solidly. <sighs> Morning tea. 
Actually, when I was preparing this tea, it, it kind of got on my face, so... God damn it, this whole part is kind of sensitive. Anyways, about the fragrance. In the heart, which is about two hours in, it still stays quite linear. As I said, the vetiver is still there. It still has a tiny, tiny bit of medicinal feel, but overall it just has gone down in strength a bit and that's about it. So strength is about five out of 10. The uniqueness, I still rank a nine out of 10 and the pleasantness is still an eight out of 10. And in the dry down about eight hours in, it still smells quite a bit the same, just less strong. To me it smells like a 3 out of 10, almost skin scent. It smells like a scent that a gentleman would wear. Like a man who doesn't necessarily care about having a lot of fragrances, but who has the fragrances that are fitting him that are really, really good. Kind of understated, kind of tasteful, not overpowering. By the way, it can be worn by women. I would actually think that yeah, there's nothing in here that would say that no women allowed, right? Quite easily could be worn. So the scent itself and the image around it, I think that they fit each other quite well. Understated, put together, very intentional. And in the rankings, it easily goes into the excellent category. It does not quite tingle my brain the same way as Creed Viking does, so it goes a notch below that. And here we are, really good scent. If you haven't tried it, do try it and try it multiple times. Once probably won't be enough because I know for sure that for myself, the first few tries that I did, they did not work out at all. I did not understand how it even smells, which is crazy. Now I do a bit more and I think that on more wearings I will probably understand it even more. If you're interested in other work by Jean-Claude Elena, these kind of abstract, nice put together gentlemanly fragrances, here is Declaration Eau de Toilette by Cartier. <laughs> 